Okay, roll camera. Rolling. 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 Okay. Shuvi Theremin, take one. I deliberately and methodically ventured into the role of recording artist in 2003-2004 after many years working in the private sector doing marketing and PR, project management and business. And I wish to address the misconceptions surrounding the music industry, particularly from the viewpoint of the independent artist. All businesses require the front and back end operations Front end would be sales and marketing, for example. Back end would be R&D, product line and packaging design, finance, investment, and office administration, inventory and other management, and more. There is an order in place for each and every one of these activities, and timely planning and action is crucial for their success. An indie artist is akin to a sole proprietorship, so it's no coincidence that this model should be the backbone of an indie artist's business. That means taking care and nurturing your business every day for it to survive, grow, and prosper. You will also need to know how to budget, work with payments, and be well-versed with the concept of profit and loss. You might even have to think like an entrepreneur if your product balks the mainstream. Sole proprietorships, as the name suggests, rely on a network of suppliers to fulfill the business needs. If you happen to be experienced in business management, or admin as I call it, you're fortunate. You will spend a substantial amount of time on activities unrelated to creating your product which is your music. What are business needs? Unless you're schooled in what running a business requires, you will need to study this first. Unless you're schooled in what running an indie artist business is, you will also need to study this first. Knowledge is one thing, experience another, and you might just need to seek help to start this business, maximize opportunities, and keep the momentum going. Thanks to social media, marketing and sales avenues are right there on the doorstep for the indie artist. But you will also need to spend on traditional media such as print and TV. You will need to find someone to research and formulate your marketing strategies, write your press releases, even your ad blurb. If all this garners you a gig roster, be prepared to negotiate payment and work conditions even write contracts all even before you tour. You might need a project manager or project managers to jimmy in all items that influence each project in a timeline. For example, if you're writing or developing an album, he or she schedules a producer and musicians to record it, oversee packaging design, replication, printing, photo shoots, payment, work with marketing and sales for pre-orders, PR, and more. If effects in the timeline change due to unforeseen circumstances, they will have to fix it. Taking care of business for an indie artist is a full-time job that is bipolar in nature. He or she must put on the admin hat, then swap it for the creative one when do you pursue admin? And when do you find time to write, rehearse, record, show plan, perform, band manage, and the rest? That is a whole other business model needed to keep that act going.